Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I just wanted to walk you guys around today to show you how things are doing. We're just going to do basically uh, the backyard. Because um, there's a lot going on in the front right now. And I don't want to take you guys where the noise is. Now, it has been raining from since Friday. Today is Monday, and this is in the evening. And so, I just got a chance to get out here to show you guys how things are doing. Because um, since it was raining this weekend, I didn't get to um, record anything. When I've been waiting for the rain to ease. So, it gave us a ease today, but it's going to rain this evening. So... Basically, I didn't get to record anything. I didn't even get a chance to come out here. So, yeah. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys. Look at my um, my greenhouse bed on the south side of my house. This is doing amazing. The, the roses are just... These roses, are, they have been blooming for quite some time. I realize they're getting really big. But as you can see over here, because of the rain, it, it's beating some of it down. But it still looks very nice. I don't know if I want to trim this back or what. Probably maybe next spring. But a lot of it is it's doing pretty good. It's blooming very nice. The annuals are still trying to shine through and stand on their own. That's how that is. Just imagine that this was one of my shrubs that was dying. And since I put it in this corner, it's just doing so good. So I'm really happy about that. I kind of shift a lot of things from my shaded garden bed in this corner. And since we had a lot of rain... Although the plants were, I mean, they were basically going to sleep. But because of the rain, everything is trying to, you know, stand on its own. But believe it or not, I want everything to go to sleep. Like I'm ready for it to go to sleep because next spring I want, I really want a show in this space over here. I kind of spread out the wood chips. I remember showing you guys this in another video. But I spread out the wood chips on cardboard. I know I got to edge it out. Like I'm really, I got to edge it out here. But I'm not thinking about doing that right now. Basically, I just wanted to spread out the wood chips. And um, so the cardboard could continuously get in wet. So it's going to kill the grass at the bottom. And also make the ground soft enough for me to like really dig through and plant and put whatever I want to put in there. I'm trying to figure out if I want to put vegetables over here or do I want to um or do I want to put flowers? And more than likely, I'm thinking about putting vegetables, but we'll see. I'm really thinking about putting vegetables in this corner. I keep looking at the the sunlight, like how much sunlight am I going to get in that corner. The sun doesn't really beat down too much in that corner. It's shaded pretty much, but we'll see. Over here, this is my shaded garden bed. And in the beginning, I didn't want to plant anything over here because this soil, the soil over here to me is crappy. But since I've been putting a lot of uh, biotone and holly tone and plant tone and stuff like that in this corner, a lot of stuff been coming up pretty good. I lately plant these four um, autumn ferns and they're doing pretty good. Like everything that can deal with the crappy soil is just doing great for me over here. This is a rhododendron that bloom purple. I can't wait to see the bloom either in the fall or the spring. But that, I guess it's dealing with the crappy soil because it's doing pretty good. 
and because of the storm that we have you can see a lot of branches and stuff fall I'm not worrying about it right now because I know we're gonna get heavy rain pretty soon yeah my garden beds are also doing pretty good now I did plant quite a few vegetables for fall and they're doing pretty good this one has been in here this is um oh my goodness I, for I forgot the name of this vegetable it's like a small cabbage uh, Brussels sprouts that's what it is so the Brussels sprouts are now coming up check that out this is charred because we get all that rain the chard is just shining through but yeah everything that I planted um, like basically fall plant everything with the rain is doing pretty good this is spinach in this bed this whole bed is spinach and it, I do have some herbs like thyme and stuff in this bed but the spinach is coming up pretty good now there's a tomato in this bed and I really don't know how I have a tomato in this bed but um, you know what I think maybe during the um, early spring late spring I had planted tomato I might have put that there probably just don't remember but I might have put a tomato in there and I thought I ripped it out but yeah okay in this bed I have kale I have cilantro and something else I can't remember what else I plant in this bed but as you can see the kale is coming up on one side I don't remember what's what's in front here I just don't remember what was that um, there's cilantro on this side so yeah there's some sort of herb on this side over there but I don't remember what else was planted here and over here I think I have bok choy here um, yeah this is bok choy and I plant something else over here I just don't know what I plant here I don't remember what I plant in this spot here but I don't see nothing actually I see a little bit of green like right there right over there so it's coming up but I, I can't remember what I plant here I really don't I have a uh, pepper right over here I have green onions over there I've been cutting from that all season long that's been doing pretty good and then when I come over here I know I'm gonna have to keep one of these beds clean out because I have to plant garlic over here I have pak choy so over here I have pak choy and bok choy. <laughs> I don't know. There's a slight difference in taste, but they're doing pretty good. And this one, I know I'm going to have to cut it soon because there's a flower already coming up. And I'm going to have to cut that and use that. This is arugula. And look at that, yo. All this arugula, all this goodness. So I am going to cut this too pretty soon. You know, you can cut. Once I cut it, I can just leave it in there and it's going to grow back. So that's good. Over this side here, I plant some more carrots. I had carrots there before. And I plant some more carrots, but I don't see anything coming up there right now. And I do have zinnias that flopped over with the rain. I'm probably going to just cut some of the flowers. And use for cut flowers inside the house okay so in this box this is one of my raised box we're definitely gonna be taking these plants out of this box really soon 
because I want to do an experiment with this box in my greenhouse with this raised box and I'm gonna tell you guys about it when we get to that point but I, there's something that I, I want to plan and do um, but in this box have a lot of herbs um, basil cilantro thyme mint and the mint is going wild it's in a pot but guys it is going wild and I do have strawberries in here still it's still bearing strawberries in between there see we still got some strawberries and we have some green ones are coming up all here I might move the strawberry plant not I might I will move it and probably plug it in the garden bed but we're definitely going to be taking these herbs out of this box and putting them in pots so I can take them inside so I could have um, herbs inside of the house growing uh, that's the plan so we'll see how that goes but yeah this is doing pretty good my pollinated garden is doing good as well this lemon cypress i just love the color of this it just stands out look at that the hydrangeas are the flowers on the hydrangea i don't know if let me know if you have hydrangeas and the flowers are getting this dark or this brown too quickly, what does that mean? I do not know. But the one in the front yard is just like this. Like it gets really brown really quickly. Anyway, aside from that... everything else is doing pretty good some of the flowers are still blooming back here still got some action and the honeybees are still playing around these pots are still doing amazing for me the lantanas I have to plant lantanas again next year because I really love this plant. Like I just developed this love for lantanas. And this ain't nothing but, um, well actually I put two in, two in a pot, I believe so. But it looks so pretty. The arborvitaes with the rain are just looking spectacular. Yep. In this area here is where I want to create that, um, like that privacy screen, like that, just for this area. I want to create that, but I still want to give it a little bit of, um, Although I put the arborvitaes, I still want to put a little bit of flowers and stuff. So it still looks, you know, I just planted this one here a couple days ago. I think it's the, the Thursday or the Friday before the rain. This one is a Sonic Boom Pink. Proven winners. Oops, sorry. The mosquitoes are trying to eat me up. Okay, so this is a full sun plant. It's going to get four to five foot tall and four to five wide. So basically, for me, this is a perfect, nice flower for this corner right here. Because when that's spread out four to five wide, think about it. It's going to look so pretty. And it's right next to the barkwood viburnum. So, and this blooms like white during the spring. So just imagine 
those plants together in this area. I am going to create a garden bed in this um, area. I'm kind of like, I think I'm going to connect it to, um, to the pollinated garden and just kind of swoop it around to give it that nice, it's going to have a, a nice shape to it. But I am going to connect it to the pollinated garden. But this area is going to have all the big shrubs. And over there is going to be all for the butterflies and the uh, bees and the, all the pollinators. I want to put something else right here. Now, I do have, um, I am putting a lot of big shrubs here. That's going to kind of lift this area right here, like bring it up. However, when you look at it from both sides, you must be able to see all the plants. And it should still look really beautiful. So that, that's my plan here. So I think I'm going to plug something else right here. Some sort of flower and shrub. Yeah. That's going to pull more pollinators. But... I want it still to tie in with all that I have here. I can't wait. I can't wait. This is going to look pretty. This is going to look pretty. The two silver sword azaleas that I plant here, they're going to get more wide than tall. But I can't wait to see them bloom as well in the spring. That is going to look pretty in that corner with the grass right in front of it. I just have so much plans for this area right here when it comes to planting stuff. And I really want it to look really beautiful. So what I'm going to do is just keep planting. I'm not going to worry about the grass right now. Because I'm going to put cardboard to suppress the grass. And probably mulch over it. That, that's the plan. So right now, I'm going to just keep planting. Or if I have to remove the grass, I'm going to do that as well. But I'm just going to keep planting for right now. All right. Now you know I talk about over here a lot. And this is what the rain did. Like, it looks more healthy. It looks so full. And I really don't know how I'm going to remove these plants. I'm going to have to put, um, I'm going to have to do something else versus trying to tear this down. Because I don't think I'm going to have the heart to do it. Because this is doing so good right now. I think I'm going to just leave it alone. And guys, check out my fall pots. My fall pots are doing amazing. Check out the flowers are blooming. With the rain, everything is blooming. All these beautiful colors. And then over here. Well, the other pot have the same thing. And if you guys remember, this pot wasn't, this one wasn't here. This was, was on the other side of the yard. And my husband was like, why don't I put them both together? So, you know what? I had to compromise. I put them both in the same area. Like, put them on top of the stairs. Let me show you that. See that? It's on top of the basement stairs. And that looks so nice with the colors in there. I wanted to add some more plants, but I'll leave that alone. And then I have these three pots right here that are just shining for me. Look at that. They are just shining for me. Look at that. They're all in bloom. Now what I'm going to do is once the blooms start to fade out, I'm going to clip them. Because I want the plant to continue to give me more blooms. So once it starts to fade out, I am going to clip them. See that? Doesn't that look beautiful? 
beautiful fall colors on this lower pedalum. Look at that. It is turning that red color. Oh, I just love it. Just love it. And then the flowers beneath it. Yes. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh my goodness. Really pretty. I mean, this camera is doing no justice for it. It just looks so pretty, guys. Yep. Anyway. And these are some of the plants that I bought that I have to put in the ground. I haven't done anything with that yet, so we'll get that in the ground soon. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to come out and show you guys what these plants look like so far. What's going on in the back here. I'm going to get myself inside because, of course, the, the light is so... I want to say we're losing light, but it's because of the rain coming. It looks more dark than usual. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys get a chance to do something amazing, something beautiful. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye for now.